Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about another interactive pen display from Wacom, model number DTK1660E. But I want to do a small technical demonstration of the device, I want to discuss about connectivity and also about its usage for teaching, training or any kind of presentation purpose. Let me begin with a small technical demonstration and let me begin by explaining the display size of this device. So the total diagonal display size of this device is about 16 inches with an active area for pen of 15.6 inches. Now this is equivalent to an A4 size paper. The device has an IPS LCD screen which provides complete anti-glare and the tempered glass covering makes it very rough and tough to use. The device works on patented EMR technology and is supported by a battery-free cord-free pen. This Pro Pen here provides 8192 pen pressure. It has two customizable buttons which can be configured as per the user's requirement and the back side of the pen acts as an eraser. This device has a pen stand which can be adjusted towards the right hand side or the left hand side depending on how the user writes. It has a power on and off button. The device also has an built-in stand which provides an inclination of about 19 degrees. It has provision for VESA mounting and an additional adjustable stand can be purchased as an accessory which provides inclination of about 15 degrees to 72 degrees. Now talking about connectivity, Wacom uses a proprietary 3-in-1 cable which gets connected to this specific part of the device. It has a beautifully designed uh, a cable protector, a Kingston lock system. The device, the cable here splits into three parts. As you can see here, it splits into three parts. One part gets connected to an external power source and the device gets powered on through an external power source. Then the second part of the cable gets split into HDMI, which provides the video data to uh, my Wacom device and the third cable gets split into a USB and it gets connected to a USB port of the laptop and this provides pen data to the device. Now this power on and off button if I switch it off there's nothing on the device if I switch it on and the HDMI cable and the USB cable is connected my entire content of a laptop gets projected on this device and if the USB cable is also connected the pen starts working as an input source and behaves like a keyboard or mouse. Now about the working of this device once you have connected all the cables only thing that you need to do is install a driver and to do that you can download it from the internet you just need to type Wacom DTK1660E getting started on the Google page and then you can install uh, any relevant driver. Once you have installed the driver it looks like this and if you get this option is if, if you get this box uh, after typing Wacom tablet properties it means that you have installed the driver properly. It takes about two to three minutes to install the driver and once that is done your device is up and running for usage. Now let me show you how you can use it for any teaching training or presentation usage and let me begin with, a, with an application which is widely used. So uh, this is a PowerPoint presentation. I can use it in content creation mode or content delivery mode. Now when my Wacom device is connected to the laptop, in my toolbar I have an option here, draw. This gets activated, draw option gets activated when you connect your Wacom device. In office applications later than 2010, you get draw option here. If you're using older version of application, this would be a two-step process. You'll have to click on review and you'll get an option called start inking here, which will give you the same pen tool. Now, uh, a small example that I have covered here, I wanted to explain divisibility rule to my students and I had created some content. I have provided a basic rule for division with two examples. I have tested number 426 and 427. So I can put it on full screen mode and now I can ask my students to test 4 to 9. Uh, they will do the same addition 4 plus 2 plus 9 and they will get number 15 which is divisible by 3 so it passes the divisibility test. Now like I said the back side of the pen is an eraser so I can erase this part but if you notice here I can't erase this part because 
this was done when i was preparing the content so you can while delivering the content you can uh, you know erase the entire part you can also highlight if you wish to highlight you can highlight any, any specific area uh, and you can use it as, uh, as an eraser now when you uh, want to get out of the presentation file it will ask you do you want to keep your annotation or discard it you can choose whatever you wish to similarly you can use it for other uh, office application like powerpoint sorry uh, microsoft uh, excel now this is widely used for all your accountancy subjects your economics uh, classes so you get the same draw option here you, you get your pen tool you can choose any pen color and start doing any annotation you can uh, write full sentences here i'm just giving you an example uh, the pen works it provides uh, close to about 190 points per second so this makes it very very intuitive you don't get any latency at all this uh, you can rest your palm provides 100 percent palm rejection so you get a very intuitive feel of writing uh, on this device it is as if you're writing on a piece of a paper so you can do complete annotations you can even highlight a certain content if you wish to and the backside is an eraser all your contents are getting saved inside the application similarly you can use it on microsoft word where you get the same draw option uh, you can use any annotations write explain uh, and you know explain the entire content for whiteboarding my favorite application is microsoft OneNote. You can uh, choose the draw option there, use any uh, shape if you wish to explain any uh, maths concept and, and you can uh, you know uh, write your concept here. So you want to explain area of triangle, you can simply write it and explain it to your class. Every annotation gets stored in the same application. Similarly, you can use any third party whiteboard application as well. I have uh, one such application installed in my system so you can use this whiteboard application do uh, all your uh, annotations here so i'm writing law of motion and i can explain uh, you know everything here and i can explain it to my students i can keep on adding pages go back to the previous page now using this application i can also write on pdf document so let's say i want to import some pdf document i'll just import it here and uh, it gets imported I will open a PDF document and then I can explain it page by page to my class I can explain it to my class just a moment here I can explain it to my class I, uh, I can assume that this was a question and I was explaining it uh, I can uh, I want to answer this question here I want to explain the concept so this is how you can explain you can use the same application and uh, do annotations on even uh, websites so I, you can use this mouse uh, choose a pen tool and then this is a website that I'm using and you can explain let's say you want to explain hybridization you can explain it uh, using the pen toolbar here so the pen is very very intuitive it provides you all the options you can annotate on all kind of applications whether they are interactive by nature or you can use a third party tool to do all the interactions so this is how you can do all your annotations the best part is the pen it's a pro pen um, it's a pro pen with pressure sensitivity so i'm just getting out of it and uh, just want to explain you about the pressure sensitivity part so if you push it lightly you'll get a thin line if you push it harder you get a thick line and the total pen pressure like i said is 8192 so the pen provides you a very very intuitive writing experience that's all i wanted to cover if you have any question please let me know thanks a lot